Yo, what is up you guys? Gamebreaker got here. So in today's video, we are going to learn my newest tech that I never really got around to teaching you guys because, ah, you know, my PlayStation died on me. But thank God, thank God we got such awesome devs such as Sony Santa Monica and Cory Barlog. So they, they figured this out and uh, they were like, um, yo, we need to hook <laughs> GBG with the new PlayStation 4. So that's how we are playing God of War 4 right now. And um, yeah, so thanks to them. Big shout out to Santa Monica Studios and Corey for uh, hooking me up for this one. So yeah, guys, without further ado, let's get right into this tutorial. Uh, a like and subscribe would be super appreciated, as you know. And uh, yeah, let's get it. Okay, so first things first, you guys are gonna need to watch my runic castles. Um, so you guys know how certain attacks, uh, you know, Kratos has some runic attacks, right? So you got this one, for example, there's way you can activate it where you don't you don't get stuck in the animation. So I highly, highly, highly suggest you guys go ahead and watch my runic attack cancellation animation or whatever the tutorial that I got for you guys. I will link it in the description in this video. So please, please make sure you watch that. Otherwise, you will not be able to pull this off. Okay, you just won't. You will need to watch runic attack cancel tutorial as well as my dual wield. Uh, tutorial as well so let me just do that again because that failed there you go you need to watch this one as well so the concept of this combo this tutorial kind of goes on on both so you need to understand both how they work and practice a lot it took me hours to get it down so it's gonna be the same for you guys there's no easy way out of it okay so let's get into this man all right so first things first since you've watched the runic attack cancel and the tutorial that i just suggested to you guys you guys now know how it works right so first thing you guys are gonna wanna do is press the usual stuff, attack button. So just make sure your ax isn't on your hand. Actually, it doesn't matter. Just make sure your you you start either with the ax or the barehanded combat. Never start with the blades because when you start with the blades, it will not trigger, okay? The the tech will not trigger unless you have either barehanded or the ax on your hands. So you can do any attack. It doesn't just have to be R1. You can do R2. You can do run and R2 and then wait until Kratos goes onto that stance. This stance right here, boom. And then you can easily swap into another weapon, okay? You can do any attack. Axe throw, um, anything, guys, honestly. Uh, so let's just break that down. We're just going to pretend this is our enemy and then we'll go ahead and do it on an enemy, on an actual dragger, okay? All right, so first things first, you guys are going to want to do attack so again remember r1 with the blades and uh, not blades with the axe or the barehanded okay so r1 left d pad okay and then you see that step that kratos just took so r1 left d pad that step right there that's when you know you're doing it right that's when the trigger uh the tech triggers so you're gonna do r1 left d pad and then what you're gonna want to do is press triangle and when you press triangle so it's gonna make the game think that you are trying to call the axe, which which currently you are, but you're gonna wanna go back like this, basically. So you're gonna gonna trigger the axe uh, recall, and then what you're gonna wanna do is immediately uh, direct Kratos towards the back. So hold the left analog down, right, like this, and then press R1 as you call the axe, okay? So it's gonna be really quick. So R1, left D-pad, and then boom, just like this, you're gonna have to press um, back. I mean, you're gonna have to press uh, triangle back R1 really quick. So R1, lefty pad, triangle back R1, just like this, okay? And then what you're gonna wanna do is press lefty pad again, <laughs> right? It's, it's, it doesn't stop there, it gets more complicated. So R1, lefty pad, triangle, uh, triangle back, lefty pad. I can't even say it quick enough, so I'm gonna have the inputs on the screen so I'm just gonna show you how it looks and then I'm gonna put the inputs on the screen there you have it and then what you're gonna want to do for that last bit you're just gonna have to throw your your blades towards the enemy and then immediately again press triangle see that I threw my blades and my axe came back to me that's the tech that basically means I've activated the tech. So if I do it on an enemy, this is what it should look like. So check this out. 
See that? See that? Okay, let me just do that again. And this time I'm actually gonna mix it up a little bit. See that? Right there. So I'm gonna actually put the inputs on the screen so you guys can see it. Uh, I just, I wasn't paying attention so the enemy just hit me. So I'm gonna do this. And then I'm gonna activate my runic attack cancel, as you can see. I can activate a runic mid attack. I can do anything. And each runic has a different effect after you activate it. So do not worry, the inputs will be on the screen and I will slow this video down for you. So let's just do that again real quick, guys. Uh, I'm gonna change runic this time. I'm gonna have something like, uh, I don't know, maybe actually. The River of Knives is really beautiful in this. Um, and then we also got the Fury of the Ice Show, which actually teleports enemies onto your attack. That was a flop. So you can pull them and then immediately activate your runic, or you can pull them and then pull them and throw them and then pull them again. So, like this. Okay, that didn't teleport because there wasn't in, in, many enemies around me. There we go. See that? That's how you teleport them onto that attack. And that's not the only attack that teleports. There's many other attacks that teleports enemies onto my axe cleave. So it's just understanding at which point you need to press the buttons and at which points you need to let go. All right. So yeah, guys, that's basically it for this tutorial. You just need to understand how to runic cancel and at what point. But do not worry because everything, everything in the screen, I mean, everything will be displayed on the screen. Slow down for you so you guys understand, okay? Okay, Atreus sometimes will interrupt you because he likes grabbing enemies. He's like the Hulk from Marvels. <laughs> he just likes grabbing. He's a grappler type of character, isn't he? Boom, that was just beautiful. Oh my goodness. But yeah, um, every runic has a different effect after the axe throw. So, let me just show you. For this, for the other runic attack that I'm going to show you right now. As you can see. That had a different effect, right? Normally, this runic attack looks like this. So let me just show you. That's what it looks like. But when I activate it, when I activate it with uh, the runic attack glitch, or tech even, it looks like this. Right? Looks different. Completely different. I actually haven't done a combo with that one yet, so I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> so I need to practice with it first before I actually show you what that looks like. But anyway, guys, go ahead and practice that. And uh, the, the inputs will be on the screen, so do not worry, guys. I will also uh, slow down the videos for you guys to understand how you do it. All right, man. I hope you guys en enjoyed this video. Quick tutorial on how to do this new tech that I kind of figured out way before uh, my PlayStation died. I just never got around to doing it and showing it to you guys because, you know, my PlayStation just overheated. So... Again, shout out to Sony Santa Monica for sending me the PS4. And shout out to you guys for always like, you know, supporting the channel and just being here for me. And also that l stream we had a few days ago, Sigrun Barehanded, was the most hype stream ever we ever had in this channel. So I appreciate the 854 people that made it to the stream. And um, yeah, man, I appreciate you all, bro. So yeah, guys, I'll see you guys on my next video. And um, time for me to do my thumbnail and <laughs> stop talking. <laughs> All right, take it easy, guys. Bye-bye. All right, guys, that's all we have time for today. But let's stay connected by following me on Instagram and on Twitter. Also, if you enjoyed the content, make sure to hit that like, subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. Take care.